Welcome back. Last time we performed OS injection that allowed us to perform remote code execution. In this video we will learn how to get a remote shell on a remote server. There are two different shells, bind shell and reverse shell. Bind shell is occurred when the attacker connects to the victim. Our learning objective is to understand the difference between bind shell and reverse shell, then we will try to get shell through remote code execution. It is easier to detect it in defensive point of view as the connection originated from the attacker. The second type of shell is reverse shell. Reverse shell allows the victim to connect to the attacker. In this video we are going to set a reverse shell from the web server vulnerability we found. Let's get started. We are going to google, reverse shell to get examples, of a reverse shells, as you can see. We were provided with, reverse shell, cheat list. We will select the netcat. Now we will start, our listener on port 1234. Now let's copy it, and change the IP, to our host. We can see that the connection originated in the right side let's execute ls. Let's try a different reverse shell. Let's choose the PHP one. And we have shell again. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more free and awesome content. Have a good day and I hope to see you in the next video.